The purpose of my visit today was to explain my position as far as an integrated energy policy was concerned and the need for new coal-fired power stations uh, with carbon capture. Uh, I'm opposed to uh, en ending coal production, obviously. I'm opposed to cutting back on uh, coal-fired power stations. And I wanted to impress upon the people here that the need is to close down nuclear power stations and have an integrated policy primarily based upon coal with at least 250 million tonnes per year. And that means opening uh, new pits and reopening old pits that are being closed. Did any of their arguments about CO2 and it leading to climate change and obviously coal, burning coal being a direct result of that, persuade you at all? Well, it didn't need to persuade me. I've been persuaded for years. I was chairman of Energy 2000, which, of course, was an environmental group, an umbrella group, that campaigned for years for uh, uh, changes in the law, let alone the attitude of people, so that we could have carbon capture in uh, not only coal-fired power stations, but also oil and gas-powered fire stations. The important thing to remember is this, that if we extract from beneath our feet the over 1,000 years of coal reserves that we have, we can also take from that all the oil we need, all the gas we need, without having to depend upon foreign coal, foreign oil, foreign gas. And if we do that, we save billions of pounds for Britain. At the same time, we allow our people, including pensioners, not paying exorbitant, stupid bills. Two more questions. One, are the government doing enough to promote CCS, carbon capture storage? No, they're not. What's needed is a massive programme so that the carbon capture programme uh, is installed not only in new power stations, but also in all existing power stations. But the sooner we phase out all nuclear power stations, the better from a safety and economic point of view. The sooner we phase out all oil and gas stations, the better, because we no longer have gas supplies or oil supplies and we're importing them. And uh, that must recognise the need for an integrated policy based upon British deep mine, mine in, uh, coal. If we do that, then we'll be miles better off in Britain and we'll have a better environment as well. You're a man very familiar with clashes with the police. There were some angry scenes here earlier on today on two spots on the camp. Your thoughts about the clashes that, that have occurred here today? I think it's regrettable if there are clashes between uh, the police and uh, protesters, demonstrators, because people should have a right to demonstrate and to protest in the 21st century. And each time we have massive police presence, it takes away a bit of that freedom that we thought we had. It's important for people to stand up for their rights, to stand up for that freedom that's been hard won, not only by the tall puddle martyrs or the suffragettes, but by people of conscience throughout the ages.